Hey Railheads, today we'll brush and sponge paint some mini prints. Coming up on my Finger Lakes Railway layout. In my last video I airbrushed primer and a base coat on my latest mini prints by. Now, I'll put a link in the description, but today I'll hand paint the details. Now, you remember these IBC tanks from my last video? Well, I wanted the cage to be a dark color, and I thought, oh, perfect spot for a sponge application. A funny thing, a couple days after I did mine, I saw a post on the Mini Prince Modelers Facebook group from Tom Johnson, and he had the same idea. His came out a lot better. But mine look pretty good from three feet away. And now you see I'm getting a little paint where I don't really want it. Uh, we'll just call that weathering, right? Oh, now I'm getting a feel for how hard to press down with the sponge. And depends on how much paint is on the sponge, too. Well, I'm really glad I bought these tanks. You know, I never could have scratch built them this good. I hear I'm coming back with a small brush for any spots I've missed. The last thing was some burnt umber for spillage on the top and some gray for the placard on the side. And now for the jersey barriers. I thought they were a little too dark, so I added a wash of light gray. You can see some lines from the printing process. I'm not worried about them. You, you won't notice them on the layout. Last coat here, I got some water on my brush. I'm going for a random dirty look. And the last item for this video, the seagulls. I've got them primed and airbrushed with aged white, but decided they weren't white enough, so I did several light washes of white. I'm using my wet palette here, so the paint doesn't dry out on me in between coats. This white acrylic has been sitting here since yesterday, and it's good to go. Well, I'll shut up now and let y'all chill to some tunes. Hey, take care. Okay.